Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to get a fake depth of field effect in Photoshop and I'm going to make it really, really quick and easy for you. So we have this photo right here and you can see there's already, already a little bit of depth of field back here, already a little bit of bokeh blurriness going on, but we want to enhance it a little bit more to make these guys stand out here. So what I'm going to do is actually take my layer here, I'm going to duplicate that layer and now I'm going to go up here to filter and say convert to smart objects. And if you get a message like this, it's just basically telling you how to use smart objects, you just click OK. So what smart objects are briefly are just ways of applying effects to a specific layer and being able to go back and edit those effects after you apply them. So I have this uh, layer right here with that smart layer conversion. Now I'm going to go back up to filter and I'm going to go to blur gallery and then field blur. And here's where you get this little uh, circle here in the middle. And this is where you can drag over and give different points of blurriness that you want. So uh, obviously on the person's face, on the, on the subject's faces here, I don't want any blur whatsoever. So I'm gonna back this down. Now what you can do is actually go over here and click, and that's gonna give you another blur point. You can actually go over here and back it down or increase it and get a, a lot of blur there. Uh, you can see that the shoulders getting kind of blurry here. So I can click right here and I can back the blur down and you can see that I can kind of control where the blurriness is going to be. So all I'm trying to do is single out the the people here. I'm trying to get the, the background blurry, uh, but also keep the people a little bit sharper. So roughly around there, uh, we'll go over here. We'll take these down a little bit more, take this one down more, and we're just kind of working our way around the image. So I can go over here and blur that one out a little bit more. You can see the hair is getting blurry. I can back that down, go over here and back that down, click over here and make sure that's going to stay sharp right here. That's going to stay sharp. And again, just working around the image. If you see any points that are pretty blurry and you want to back those down, just create a point and just play with the blurriness there. We'll click right there and make sure that's sharp. There we go. And click right there. That's pretty good. And then click one more time. Take that back down. So there we go. I might want to take this one actually and bump this one up a little bit more just to make sure that the background is a little bit more blurry. There we go. All right. So there's our, that's our blur effect apply. Let's go ahead and click OK. And that is pretty much it. You can see we can kind of finesse it a little bit more, but for the most part, that is the effect. So this is the before. You can see that you, there's a lot more, a lot more visible scene back here, but now we just kind of blurred that out a little bit and made the subject stand out a little bit better. So make sure you use the field blur technique to create that really fake bokeh effect, especially if you don't have a lens that's a very fast to lens, meaning the aperture is a, is a very wide open aperture. So this is a great way of doing it in post. So thank you for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens and I'll see you in the next one.